house smelled strange. It was hair on the floorboards, nostalgic, sort of pain. The pudding was left in Tupperware. This town no longer to my taste. There's boys pushing rockets down the stairs. Setting mess up again was the race. I can't demonstrate any glory. I haven't gained anything on the way. Just make me suffer in my progress. It's the only fair price I'll ever pay. I am home again, and will be home again. I will be home till it's somewhere to stay. I desperately need to own every sorry. But for now, I have nothing to say. Hand me a cuddle in the kitchen. I'll lean onto you with my weight. I'll inquire about the pudding and the new chip on my favorite plate. Make me whole again, I am home again. Make me hold you one more time. I'll leave this house for forever and never return to a strange my mind. feel so welcome can't be made into a permanent home 
Would we fall and resort to anger at those circumstances? Or would we increase our amazement for what we interact with? Where does gratitude grow? And how do we keep it so base and so foundational within our awareness for the world? Surely it's to keep watching closely in and amongst the quiet. Even in the smallest detail, everything proves itself to be happening. You are as big and as spirited and as bold as you could allow yourself to be. Next time you observe the power of the simple beauty of a flower, think how you could be seen just waiting for the bus. If beauty is within the eye of the beholder, then surely we can create beauty by being mindful of where we place our awareness. So simply look to the good things. Life is full of the good things. It could be all the good things, quite simply and so sadly so. Our awareness is sculpting time.